All right, live this morning outside in our Publix kitchen, and we've got some delicious and different dishes that we are cooking up all in the name of a very good cause. So I want to introduce you to our friends with well-oiled events. We have Michael Ramsey and Adam Abbott. Thank you both for coming on. You guys are caterers with a twist, right? Yeah, we, uh, we're a newer company this year um, that we try to pride ourselves as engineers and kind of building a great experience from a catering and special events standpoint. So. Culinary engineers, a little different than, you know, your, your typical caterers there, but I love it. And people have the opportunity to come out and taste what you are cooking up this weekend and do it for a good cause. Yeah. Correct, yeah, Caring Chefs uh, is happening this Sunday at the Avenue Mall. Um, uh, benefits the Children's Home Society, which is a great cause. A lot of people, a lot of vendors uh, are excited to be there. Okay, yeah. and I have been several times, five, six times. I always mark it on my calendar because it's so good. Yeah. You get to go around and there's like 50, 60 restaurants, possibly more, all doing a great job. You get to taste their signature dish. So today you're going to show us your signature item, which is, drum roll please. So it's pulled pork donuts uh, and it has a bourbon caramel glaze on top with some bacon sprinkles. So Let's do it. Right. Where do we start? We'll kind of start, start with the donut. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll start. I'm actually we're gonna get some donuts frying okay. here that we have okay. magically already made, <laughs> um, and Mike can get that going. Yep. If you want. Um, what yep. we'll do though is basically we have some of the start up here, so a couple of those, um, as well as the pulled pork. Basically, just take a dough. Um, we measure these out, but you don't have to be precise. You kind of make them however small or big that you want. Um, just make them into kind of a, a disc, okay. something that you can kind of stuff like you would a donut hole. Um, take some pulled pork meat. I'm going to make it into a good, nice little ball size here. All right. Set it in the middle. And then just kind of wrap the dough around it a little bit. And once you kind of work it around it, kind of just crimp it and twist it. And make it a nice little kind of a pouch. So it's almost and like a sweet empanada it. right there. Almost, yeah. Okay. Um, so that's kind of what we did as far as the prep. And then we've got them, I had a few pre-made um, that we'll fry up, maybe two, two and a half minutes, depending upon the size. All right. Um, and Mike's going to do a little uh, bourbon caramel glaze. He's going to do that for you over here. Yeah, show us so, that, Mike. Yeah. So the bourbon caramel glaze is pretty much like a, a banana foster mm -hmm. as far as the sauce is concerned. Very simple. Butter. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. Just going to let that cook up. Really just melt together. When it gets going, we're going to add a little salt, pepper, and actually a little blackening spice. Okay. Kind of bridges the gap between sweet and savory. Hit it with a little bourbon, a little taste. Bourbon, bacon, pork. Yeah, donut. I love it. Mm. It's all not for the weak of heart. No. <laughs> no. So you, you're working on all these different things right there. Right. Uh, tell me what else you guys love to make while we wait for this to fry. What are some of the um, other signature items? You know, we do a, a lot of events. I mean, all of our events are, are such a wide array. We'll do, um, we'll do cocktail parties where we have more hors d'oeuvres and kind of dinner or lunch things. We'll do a lot of barbecue events, too, and kind of southern-style cooking, uh, which is what Mike's, I mean, Mike grew up here, so he has a lot of southern influence in his culinary. Um, uh, yeah, everything else. I mean, kind of whatever you could imagine. So, so you uh, just want to be a little different than the rest. A little bit. The idea Displays behind this and, is yeah. memorable. Okay. You know, there's lots of great food out there, a lot of great chefs. So let's see if we, can we pull these out a little early? Yeah. We're wrapping up here with our segments. Uh, it looks good, right? Okay. Golden brown. Yeah. We're going to take these out. Adam, Mike. This look delicious. We'll kind of. Okay, so that's kind of the end. We'll move that top here. Okay. Oh, a little bit of flame there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For that banana's right, pasta right. touch. Okay, so tickets. It's Sunday night. It's at the Avenues Mall. It benefits the Children's Home Society doing amazing things in our community. Tickets still available. Still available. $75 for general admission and then $150 for VIP um, are available. Um, absolutely. Come out. Great cause. A lot of great vendors and a lot of great... Uh, Great eats. And let me tell you, it, it really is the best way to see all of the most amazing restaurants and the best chefs in, in Northeast Florida. And you can do it, you know, for a very low price as compared to going to all these different restaurants, and it's great. All right, careful. That's it's going to be warm. Yeah, yeah it's going to be gonna warm. We're going to have to use the tongs to get into it. But, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, we are going to cut into this. You, too, can taste it <laughs> this Sunday, Avenues Mall, 
go online. We're going to post a link to our website. That's how you can get some tickets. You'll see me there, and I will let's, be chowing down. Let's see it, Vic. Let's see it. Yes. That how, was really good. Good? All right. All right, Vic, good. That's so cool.